y'all can see. I hope it, I hope y'all can see this eye. Getting the first truck on the deck. A little bit more, Jules. That'll work, buddy. And so, anyway, it's early in the morning. One of my biggest complaints about this Tiger Cat is uh, if you look right here, I've had it cranked up for 20 minutes. It still ain't revved up all the way. It takes forever in the morning to get it to warm up and rev up all the way. Load of IBX. This meal, this is a pretty cool meal. Um, they'll take about anything. They take random length. Uh, I think 12 from 12 foot to 20 foot. Any kind of random length can have bends and crooks in it. As long as there's a three foot straight piece, it can be bent and crooked and whatever you want. But um, they take, I think it's down to four or five inches on the little end. And um, they'll take some big wood too, as you can see here. And big poplar here. But they take any species except uh, Cypress, they don't take cypress, but it's a nice little meal. We don't have a great market for uh, hardwood pulp wood. We haul most of our pulp wood to Virginia. So having something like this, you can get rid of, they'll take a, you can get rid of some crafted wood at this place. So it kind of cuts out your uh, your pulp wood quite as much. But if you haven't noticed, I always load the back rack. And Jasper, he loads the front rack. And yeah, the front rack, it's... it's more aggravating to load. I ain't gonna say it's harder, but it's more aggravating to load. But I, I'm, I run all the trucks and I do all the paperwork and stuff like that. So, therefore, I get the back rack and he has to deal with the front. I've known George here. I've known him for quite a while. If you don't know, this I just work out here. But um, my dad, rest his soul, but um, he had a logging business. It was his daddy. And anyway, anyway, George used to pull for us when I worked out there. But. Um, since my dad's passing, my mom sold the company, and uh, I came to work out here. I've been out here uh, over three years, three and a half years, something like that. But yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy's a good guy to work for. The whole time I've been out here, I ain't never heard him get mad, cuss, raise his voice, and uh, that's kind of 
kind of rare out here in the logging world. You got a lot of people out there that'll, that'll cuss you up and down over stuff you can't control. And when you're out in the woods, stuff is going to tear up, stuff is going to break. Some of you can, can control, but some of you just, stuff happens. But yeah, and Jimmy, Jimmy's a pretty good guy. Yeah, when uh, I first went to go to work on the outside, like out here, and not with my family, I was nervous, you know what I mean? I'd always, over a decade, I worked with my family, you know, it was a s small three-man job, me, my dad, and my brother. We went from that to coming out here, I was worried about, you know, about the people, not not worried about if I could do my job, but worried about the people I was going to have to deal with. But for the most part, I like everybody that's out here. And I like Jasper and Cookie Man. They've been doing this a long time, you know what I mean? Um, both of them work for my dad. But uh, the other ones, they're all right. Put it up there, boy. Goodness gracious. a little better. Let's get that out of here straight. Hi, right, George. Pull up, buddy. But George, he's a pretty heavy truck. So, see, I got 37.5 up there. I get another 37.5 on the back, and that'll be about 87, 88. Depending on how much fuel they got. All right. So we got 439. Take one little one off. Alright buddy, you good to go. IBX. 
And there you go, y'all. There goes the first load. Easy does it, fella. Easy does it. See that shorty, you clean them windows, you'd be able to see something. <laughs> Everybody, it's, uh, it's two o'clock. Cutter man, he just come out. Said he, he believes he's got it all cut. Um, the wind's starting to pick up. They said we got some bad weather coming in. I don't know. It'll be all right. But anyway, they still got some pine left back there. They got to pull up. Got one or two pools of hardwood left right up front here, and uh, that'll be it. Go out there, and get the cutter greased up, fueled up, and ready to go. I imagine they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait and see what the rain does before we decide to go anywhere. So. But yeah, it's supposed to get pretty bad. Um, they got closed, uh, stores closing down. Um, they're letting school out early. It says it's supposed to be high winds, hail, chance of tornadoes. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that must have been the driver. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> driver air. Yeah. Yeah. Driver air. Perfect. Right, right, right. Get over here. You get out, Chad. You got to get that. Get over here. 
Oh yeah. You gotta go, Ray Ray. <laughs> I'll hook the chain, see what he can do. Gas on that thing, Billy. <laughs> Both man number seven. Oh, yeah, man, let me see what it is. Come on with it, Billy. Come on up with it. Get straight in the road. So let's see what you got, boy. Luke done had that dug out. Language. Language. Well, he needs to That's all right. Got yeah, work. Cliffy can fix it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Billy said he's ready for a new one anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> You're young. <laughs> You're young and young. Mess around and give himself a heart attack getting all wound up. Let me calm down a little bit. Look at that right. Can't even, can't even see it in there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why he won't clean them windows. Now he wants to know what to do. <laughs> Easy. It ain't no good. Oh, here come the wind, Jeff. Here come the wind. Oh, to to they better tighten up. He done caught in the hailstorm. Might cool him off a little bit. Billy Dry. What kind of animal is that, Sugar Ray? Bobcat or a raccoon? What do he do? Pounce right there? Must have. Must have jumped, jumped the ditch. That Bobcat was after him, mate. Must have been, boy. Yeah. Probably a damn dinosaur after his ass. Yeah, that uh, he's down there eating one of these little crayfish down there and that bobcat coming around and made him jump through the ditch. Look, Ray Ray's gonna drag him all the way to the highway, boy. Probably. <laughs> Somebody tells him to stop. Drag him home, Ray Ray. Drag him home.
Why? Oh. You camera shy? No, I ain't camera shy. You ain't camera shy? That's good. I think I think Billy is though. Well, know what kind of animal is that? Dog? Good dog chasing that uh, Chasing that bobcat, chasing bobcat, that raccoon? Yeah. I ain't never got the whole ecosystem right yeah. here. Yeah, mm. Dog chasing the bobcat, bobcat chasing the coon. Mm. Next thing I know, you'll see a squirrel chasing the dog. Yeah, you might see an elephant out this time. You never know. Hey, let me watch what it off. <laughs> it must have down. Yeah. Oh, you had her jacked up. Tighten up, boy, tighten up. Come on, you're burning all my footage up. Hey, give me some more wood. Ready to go. All right, Billy, get out of my way. All right, Billy, hold on. Maybe the Ford make it out now. Oh, you hear that, John? Yeah. There went a CV joint. Look at him. I reckon he thinks he got. Everybody, this is gonna be the last load for the day. We got all the wood up. We got this last truck here, and then we can go home. All right, hold right there, buddy.
hear that jump.
good to go. Uh, it's going to Northampton, Bucktimber, Nelson track.